Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about knowing all 12 tenses in English. I'm going to show you the easiest way how to recognize all 12 tenses in English. Grammar is easy. Don't make it difficult. Let's get started. What do we mean by tense? What is tense? Actually, tense is the form of a verb. The form of a verb. So, how tenses are changed, you know, how we make different tenses in English grammar. We change the form of verb and we make different tenses. For example, if I say, I'm working. So, what tense is it? It's present continuous. I'm working. So, if I want to change the tense of this sentence, let's say if I want to change it to the past continuous, so I have to change, you know, the form of this verb. See? There is ing and there is to be verb m. If I want to change the tense of this sentence, so let's say if I want to change it to the past continuous, so I have to change the auxiliary to was. I was working, this is past continuous. If I further want to change the tense of the sentence, let's say if I want to change it to the future continuous, again, I have to change the form of this verb. See, this verb was and the main verb. The main verb is in ing, however, the auxiliary is changed. As, I, as you see, there is well and there is be. So this is future continuous. So as I said before, tense is the form of a verb. We make different tenses by changing different forms of verb. Okay, if I want to change this sentence, let's say to the present perfect, again, I have to, uh, sorry, to present simple, again, I have to change the form of the verb. See, I work. This is the present simple. There is no auxiliary and the main verb is in the base form. If I want to change this sentence to the past, you know, simple past, so I have to change the verb to the past form. So I have to add with the verb ed because it's regular. I worked. I worked. So this is simple past. And if I want to change it to simple future, so I have to add the verb, you know, the verb well, the auxiliary verb well. I will work. So, as I said before, what's tense? Tense is the different forms of a verb. You see, if I want to change again the tense of this sentence, so I, I should say, uh, let's change it to present perfect. So, I should say, I have worked. I have to add the auxiliary have with it. I have worked. And the main verb should be in verb 3 or past participle. So, one sentence is changed to seven tenses by changing the forms of the verb. So what's tense? Simply tense is the form of a verb. The verb changes its form and make a different tense for us. So grammar is easy, as I said before. Now it's mandatory, it's important to know these forms. Like, if the verb is in this form, how should I know that this is present continuous? How should I know that this is past continuous? How should I know that this is future continuous? How should I know that this is present perfect and present perfect continuous? It's easy by knowing and by paying attention to these, you know, different forms of verbs. So, if you want to know, please keep watching. Okay, types of verbs. There are two, mainly there are two types of verbs. So we have auxiliary verbs and we have main verbs. The auxiliary verbs are those verbs that they do not express the main actions or the physical actions. They are as followings. For example, is, am, are, was, were, have, has, had, well, shall, been, be, etc. So, all of these are auxiliary. They're, they do not express main actions. They do not express main actions. They're not physical actions. They're there in tenses to help and form different types of tenses for us. For example, if there is is, am, and are, they form present continuous tense. 
If there is was and were, they form past continuous tense. If there is have, has, and had, they form perfect tenses. If there is well and shall, they form future tenses. And if there is been, it forms perfect continuous tenses. If there is be, it forms future continuous tense. So actually, they help. They are helping verbs. They help the main verbs in the formation of tenses. So what are main verbs? Main verbs can express physical actions. For example, work, swim, watch, play, walk, talk, study, etc. All of these are main actions. We do it with one or two or three of our physical body parts. For example, work, if we work, so we use our hands and legs and backs, you know, etc. To, to perform this. Swim, again, we use one of our, you know, one, two, three, or four of our physical body parts to, to perform the swim. So swim is a physical action, it's main action. Actually, what happens, we combine these verbs along with these to form different tenses. So how, let's just know. According to the tenses, we should know four forms of a verb. A verb has four forms according to the tenses. The base form, the original form, the standard form, or we can say verb one, the verb two or past form, the verb three or past participle form, and the present participle form or verb ing form. For example, speak is the base form, spoke is the past form, spoken is the past participle form, and speaking is the present participle form. So, the present participle is especially common in continuous tenses. Verb 3 is in perfect tenses. Verb 2 is in simple past, and speak is in simple present. Again, I say it's essential to know these four forms of main verbs and auxiliary verbs, all right? So work is the other verb, worked is the past form, worked is the third form, and working is the present participle form. So the main verbs and the auxiliary verbs are divided into these four forms. It's important to learn all of these, all right? Now, again, I want to say one thing more. The main verbs are divided further into two types, regular and irregular. So those are not, this is not my topic over here. I do not want to explain those because uh, it will take my time. Maybe in next lessons, I'm going to explain and talk about it. If you could give it a shot and try it by yourself, it would be, you know, much greater. Okay, let's go. So how to understand that this is simple present or present simple tense. When there is a main verb, and with this main verb, you have S at the end and ES. So you should you know, tell to yourself, this is present simple. If the main verb take S at the end and ES, and sometimes no S and no ES, the base form, the original form, so this is 100% present simple. Example, he watches TV, he works hard, we watch TV, we work hard. So, if the subject is singular, you have to add S and ES with the main verbs. If the subject are plural, you do not need to add S and ES. How about present continuous? If you see in paragraphs, books, newspapers, anywhere, if you see there is the to be verb is and the to be verb are and the to be verb am with verb ing. Again, is, am, are with verb ing or present participle form of verb, main verb. This is 100% present continuous. He's watching TV, present continuous. He's working hard, present continuous. We are watching TV, present continuous. We are wa working hard, present continuous. I'm watching TV and I'm working hard, present continuous. Again, uh, 
If that is is, are, and am, so the tenses present continuous, along with the verb ing. He has watched TV, he has worked hard, and we have watched TV. If you see the auxiliary has and have with the past participle or verb 3 form, this is present perfect tense. He has watched TV, present perfect. He has worked hard, present perfect. We have worked, you know, watched TV, present perfect. So, how do I know that this is present perfect? When there is has and have with verb 3, I know that this is present perfect. How about present perfect continuous? He has been watching TV. He has been working hard. We have been watching TV. If there is has, have, has and have with been and verb ing, this is present perfect continuous. Again, has with been verb ing, have with been verb ing, present perfect continuous. If the main verb is in past form, like he watched TV, he worked hard, he spoke very well. As you see, this verb is in past form. If the main verb is in past form, it is simple past tense. Very simple and easy. He was watching TV, he was working hard, and they were watching TV. If there are two be verbs, was and were, with verb ing, this is past continuous. Very simple and very easy. He had watched TV, he had worked hard, and he had spoken very well. If there is auxiliary had with past participle, the third form of verb, had with verb 3, this is past perfect tense. Simple? Yeah, it's very cool. If there is had and been in verb ing, he had been watching TV, he had been working hard, this is past perfect continuous. Had been verb ing, past perfect continuous. If there is well, and along with the well, there is, you know, the main verb, he will watch, he will work. So this is simple future. Very simple. Well, with main verb. Or shall sometimes with main verb. Simple future. <laughs> if there is well and then be in verb ing, future continuous. Future continuous. He will be watching TV. He will be working hard. If there is well and have in verb 3, he will have watched TV, he will have worked hard. See, well is for future, have is for perfect. So, future perfect tense. Future perfect tense. And if there is well and have and been in verb ing, future perfect continuous. Future perfect continuous tense. Future perfect continuous tense. So that's the summary. He watches TV, present simple. He is watching TV, present continuous. He has watched TV, present perfect. He has been watching TV, present perfect continuous. He watched TV, present uh, past simple. He was watching TV, past continuous. He had watched TV, past perfect. He had been watching TV, past perfect continuous. He will watch TV, simple future. He will be watching TV, future continuous. He will have watched TV, future perfect. He will have been watching TV, future perfect continuous. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So these are the 12 tenses. Okay, that's all. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel and if you have comments, please write them below. May God bless you.